Have you ever pondered the intricacies of military operations in Afghanistan? The multitude of factors that led to the inception of these operations is as complex as it is intriguing. The primary catalyst, as many of you may recall, was the devastating events of September 11, 2001, a day that shook the world to its core. The infamous attacks on the World Trade Center in New York City, orchestrated by Al-Qaeda under the leadership of Osama bin Laden, sparked a global outcry. Following these attacks, the United States, under the presidency of George W. Bush, declared a war on terror. This was not a war against a specific country, but rather a transnational effort to dismantle Al-Qaeda and any associated terrorist organizations. Afghanistan, being the operational base for Al-Qaeda and the refuge for bin Laden, naturally became the focal point of this new war. The United States, however, did not undertake this daunting task alone. A coalition of allies from around the globe joined forces under the banner of NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. These included the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and several European nations. Together, they launched what was officially named Operation Enduring Freedom in October 2001. This operation aimed to dismantle Al-Qaeda and remove the Taliban regime which had provided the terrorist group with support and safe harbor. The Allies believed that by eradicating these entities, they could prevent further terrorist attacks on their soil. But the operation was not without controversy. Critics questioned the legality and morality of the invasion expressing concerns about civilian casualties and the long-term impact on Afghanistan's socio-political landscape. Thus began a chapter of modern military history that would span two decades. The operations in Afghanistan were far from straightforward. Now, imagine navigating the rugged, mountainous terrain of Afghanistan, a battlefield unlike any other. The landscape itself posed an immense challenge for the forces. A vast expanse of rough, uneven ground interspersed with high peaks and deep valleys served as a natural fortress for the resistance. The resistance was not limited to the physical landscape. The local populace, weary of decades of conflict, often viewed the foreign troops with suspicion and mistrust. This sentiment was leveraged by the Taliban and other insurgent groups to fuel a fierce, unpredictable resistance. The shadowy nature of this enemy blending into the civilian population and striking without warning made the war a complex and dangerous game of cat and mouse. And then there were the internal politics. The coalition forces had to operate within a delicate balance of power, often having to negotiate with local warlords and tribal leaders. These internal dynamics, steeped in centuries of history and tradition, added another layer of complexity to the operations. Let's turn the page to some key events. The Battle of Dorabora, for instance, was a significant turning point. Taking place in December of 2001, this operation sought to capture or kill Osama bin Laden, who was believed to be hiding in the mountain range. Despite the severe conditions and fierce resistance, the coalition forces remained undeterred. Fast forward to 2010, the surge saw a significant increase in military presence in an attempt to quell the rising tide of insurgency. This move, while controversial, underscored the commitment of the forces to bring stability to the region. Despite the challenges, the operations continued, driven by a sense of duty and resolve. The war in Afghanistan was a complex web of geopolitics, local dynamics and military strategy. But in the face of adversity, the commitment to the mission remained unyielding. The USA was not alone in this endeavor. As the Afghan operations unfolded, it became a multinational effort with countries around the globe lending their support. Among them, the United Kingdom, Canada and Australia played pivotal roles, making significant contributions and sacrifices. The United Kingdom, being the USA's closest ally, was deeply involved from the very beginning. British forces were instrumental in the initial invasion and subsequent operations. They were primarily stationed in Helmand province, one of the most dangerous regions in Afghanistan. 
the UK forces fought valiantly, facing numerous challenges and making ultimate sacrifices. Their mission was not just about combat, but also involved reconstruction efforts and providing security to the Afghan people. Canada, too, had an essential role in the Afghanistan operations. Canadian troops were deployed in Kandahar, another volatile region. They played a crucial part in several key battles and undertook reconstruction and development work. The Canadians, like their British counterparts, faced significant challenges and made substantial sacrifices. Australia, although geographically distant, was not far behind in offering support. Australian forces were involved in various capacities, from special operations to training Afghan security forces. The Australians showed exceptional bravery and commitment, contributing significantly to the overall mission. These nations, along with others, formed an international coalition, each contributing in their unique ways. It was not just about military might, but also about aiding in reconstruction, development, and working towards a stable Afghanistan. They stood shoulder to shoulder in the face of adversity, each nation understanding the importance of their role. The sacrifices made by these nations were immense, both in terms of lives lost and financial resources expended. Their unwavering commitment and dedication to the cause were instrumental in the overall operations in Afghanistan. So, it's important to remember that while the USA was at the forefront of the operations, they were by no means alone. The role of allies was crucial and their contributions were significant. Together, they formed a coalition that stood against a common enemy. All things must come to an end. And so did the operations in Afghanistan. In the grand scheme of military history, the withdrawal from Afghanistan was a significant event. And it was a decision that didn't come lightly. It was a culmination of numerous factors, a complex cocktail of political, military, and humanitarian considerations. At its core, the decision to withdraw was fueled by a desire to end America's longest war, a conflict that had spanned over two decades and cost trillions of dollars. The toll it took on both American and Afghan lives was immense and the question of sustainability was ever-present. However, the withdrawal was not a simple process. It was a delicate operation fraught with challenges. As troops began to pull out, the power vacuum they left behind became a breeding ground for unrest. The situation was further complicated by the presence of ISIS-K, a formidable terrorist organization that posed a significant threat to the withdrawal and evacuation efforts. The final days of the withdrawal were particularly intense. With the looming threat of ISIS-K, the evacuation of diplomatic personnel, Afghan allies and vulnerable civilians became a race against time. The evacuation efforts were nothing short of Herculean, with over 123,000 people transported out of the war-torn country. Despite the challenges, the withdrawal operation was carried out with determination and efficiency. The troops faced the situation with resilience and resolve, showcasing their unwavering commitment to their mission and their allies. Yet, the withdrawal was not without its casualties. Many lives were lost during the operation, a harsh reminder of the brutal realities of war. These losses are a stark testament to the courage and sacrifice of those who serve, a tribute to their commitment to safeguarding lives and ensuring peace. The end of the operations marked a significant moment in military history. It was a chapter that closed with a mixture of relief and trepidation, a period of reflection on the past and contemplation about the future. It was the end of an era, but also the beginning of a new chapter, one that remains to be written. The operations in Afghanistan left a lasting impact. The aftermath of those operations, a blend of triumphs and tribulations, echoes in the corridors of world politics even today. The end of U.S. diplomatic operations in Afghanistan, a chapter marked by the Special Immigrant Visa Program, refugee admissions, and resettlement efforts, was a spectacle of immense scale. More than 123,000 people were airlifted out of Afghanistan, a rescue mission etched in history for its scale and significance. But this tremendous endeavor 
came with its share of costs. There were significant casualties and the overall estimated cost of the war, spread over two decades, stands at a staggering $2 trillion. The financial implications of this operation have had a profound influence on the global economic landscape. The legacy of these operations is far from just a tale of numbers. It's a narrative of human lives, of promises kept and broken, of dreams realized and shattered. It's a chronicle of the resilience of the Afghan people, their hopes and their struggles. It is above all a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, a spirit that rises time and again from the ashes of despair. The operations also sparked a much needed dialogue about the legality and necessity of military intervention. Questions were raised, debates ensued, and the world watched as the dynamics of international relations shifted. The operations served as a harsh reality check, reminding us that military engagements are not devoid of complexities. They have ripple effects that transcend borders, affecting not just the nations directly involved, but the entire globe. Challenges persist even in the aftermath. ISIS-K, a formidable threat, continues to pose significant risks to the region. The situation remains volatile, with the likelihood of further attacks on both US forces and soft targets in the region. The operations in Afghanistan serve as a stark reminder of the complexities of military engagements. They have taught us invaluable lessons about the intricacies of warfare, diplomacy and human resilience. They have shown us the dire consequences of conflict and the indomitable power of hope. They have reminded us that in the grand scheme of global politics, every action has a reaction, every decision a consequence. And in the end, it is our collective responsibility to learn from these lessons, to ensure a more peaceful, secure, and harmonious world.